Hey guys, welcome again. Uh, another update after finishing the rear fender, the oil tank, and uh, the battery. As I've said before, this uh, rear fender was uh, was two parts, and I had to to clean and fill the seam so it. Uh, look a lot cleaner than uh, if I only assembled and painted it so it looks good now all the uh, sub assemblies the uh, rear light uh, turn signals and the uh, rear bumper are in place this part was tricky because it's not uh, glued this uh, this part of the bumper is uh, rubbery plastic and uh, it goes along with the upper part and makes pressure into two place so it was a, a little bit trickier the uh, oil tank was pretty straightforward nothing to say about it except all this assembly the oil tank the battery that stays inside here and uh, this cover it's one of the metal parts when assembling them into place it wasn't easy uh, mainly because it sits on three supports on the uh, on the on the frame and uh, you have to twist it a bit so it goes in all three supports also because of uh, the tubings tubings are also uh, a hassle because they always get in the way so you need to work out with them so everything goes in place without any effort so this uh, this is what I wanted to say the the color it's okay it's zero paints it's uh, not my kind of color but uh, it's uh, what you have to use because of the set of decals there are some kind of cream a lighter color than this one and uh, it won't combine if you paint in some other color so this is it for the update now I have one rim here it's already painted uh, in the unboxing I've said that I was going to strip the chrome and uh, paint it all with the silver and then the black but uh, it wasn't the, the right solution so what I decided to do I've painted the, the inner part semi-gloss black if you can see there's a, a little bit of a overspray here on the outer rim but it's no no big deal I'll just grab a, a cotton swab and uh, damp it with a little bit of mineral spirits and uh, we'll rub this overspray not too much because I want the, the chrome to stay in place and then what I'm going to do because this upper part of the I don't know how to say the little arms it is chrome so I'm going to grab a toothpick and scrape the uh, the black from this upper surface so I get to the final result it's a lot easier this way than uh, I said in the beginning and the uh, results will be pretty guaranteed uh, the other way around I'm not so sure so another thing and uh, this will be quite a problem will be with the tires not the tire itself it's good of course it's Tamiya, Tamiya has very good tires but uh, I will have to paint the uh, sidewalls in white 
and I'm considering a lot, lots of different approaches, and uh, I think I might might have one that will work, but still will give me a lot of work. Uh, but uh, I will only know when I try it. Okay, this is basically what I wanted to say at this point. I've already started the the next part, as I've showed you the rim and tire and the uh, the rear suspension. It will. I already started painting the the shocks, so uh, and the brake caliper and uh, that will be the next step but uh, still concerned concerned about the tire so uh, keep tuned guys and uh, let me know if you have any approach for the uh, tire problem that I came across with and I'll I'll still try my uh, my technique if uh, it works or not but if you have already tried uh, some painting uh, with the uh, tires and you know it will work please let me know I'll appreciate it so this is the end of the update let's uh, continue the uh, the Harley <laughs>